but even people in the world, in your own walk, your job, they know if you're walking in your Habashai, oh, they, can know, they, they, they know, know, they notice. They might not even know what you meant to. Yeah. Like the brother's thinking about that conduct, that, it, it shouldn't, it should already be like that. It's not just a thing of when we around brothers or when we at camp. That conduct should carry over in your everyday life. It's not just the so where when you are around people, you're going right into this, what this brother about to read. Because that garment, oh, you because that garment is in your conscience, man. Mm -hmm. It says, for the Lord's sake, respect all human authority, whether the king as head of state, or the officials he has appointed, for the king has sent them to punish those who do wrong and to honor those who do right. It is the most high's will that your honorable lives should silence those ignorant people who make foolish accusations against you. For you are free, yet you are the most high's slaves, so don't use your freedom as an excuse to do evil. Respect everyone and love your brothers and sisters. Fear the most high and respect the king. <laughs> When you, when you walk in honestly like that, there's only so much people can do and say about you. They can slander your name, they can throw lies on you, but the truth is always going to prevail. So it's going to, you know, those lies that people may be throwing on your name or the traps that they try to set for you, they're going to fall in those traps. And those things are going to come back on them because when it's found out that you are, you know, you're a sincere man, you know, you walk in honestly, you, you actually got integrity, their name going to be stained. You know, like they were trying to stain your name, but it's going to be found out that they're trying to lie on you. And that, that's what that's that trans that's talk about the garment that that comes with it too. Yep. Be, being uh being talked about, being defamed, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that comes with yeah. the garment as well. Uh Hebrews twelve and fourteen and I I wanna uh, bring out the word peace. It said, Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. And I looked up that word peace. It, uh, a state of national tranquility, peace between individuals, oh, harmony, peace concord, security, safety, prosperity, felicity, because peace and harmony make and keep things safe and prosperous. Hold on, brother. Can you come on over? Okay. It's just awkward you being behind us. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. You, gotta be you all good. Peace with all men. Uh, what do you I say? If, if somebody in authority, like a police officer, pull you over, you know, you gotta oh, be, yeah. you gotta be uh, at peace with him, man. You gotta agree, agree with your adversary uh, while, while he be in the way, man. A lot of Jake nowadays, they think they know, they think they know the law, you yeah. know, Esau's law. He's like, oh, no, you can't pull me over. I don't, I, I don't supposed to give you my ID. Blah, blah, blah. That's how they get fucking shot in the head, man. <laughs> they don't understand what time they're living in. <laughs> the NWO is being being uh, <laughs> being uh, brought about, man. Yeah. If you don't know about the NWO, New World Order, man. Yeah. All right, that means if, if, if the police or government authorities tell you to do some shit, you better do it, man. Or you're gonna get blasted on, man. Yep. Yeah, they gonna they gonna have immunity too. Man. You ain't got no. They gonna get off. Yep. You ain't got that's, no that's coming. I want to add to what you're saying because a lot of guys they get into this Moorish law or they get into that. Uh, I know my rights. I'm, I'm sovereign. I'm sovereign and all this other stuff. That ain't got nothing to do with you. Yep. That's for criminals to not have to. If you come in in the right spirit, the Lord ain't gonna protect you in these situations. If you if you're dressed the proper way with the understanding and wisdom and also prudence. Whenever I see cops get even behind me, I'm like, oh shit, let me go in. Yeah. And I my shit be right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me go on in just so I don't want to have to deal with this shit. You know? Let me go ahead and you know, I've got my tag on, I got it. Anyway, but yeah. So, you know, just having that type of prudence when you're moving about in the world. Right. So nobody has any anything to, 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 to mess with you. So, uh, this is Matthew uh, 10 and verse 16. It says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Uh, so, so give me an example of how you would be wise and, and harmless. So, basically like, you know, being being humble, like instead of arguing with somebody, mm -hmm. you try to de-escalate de the situation. Exactly. 
the best way you can. You know? Or if you see a fight, <laughs> or a crowd of people fighting, you're like, you know what? That ain't for me. That ain't for me. I yep. see the police over there. I don't want to be a part of that, you know? Because yep. the nigga moment, you, we all saw that Boondocks episode. Oh, yeah. Nigga moment, right? Oh. If you haven't checked it out, it's funny. When somebody stepped on the shoe, and that instant calls for a nigga moment. <laughs> somebody stepped on your new shoe? Oh, yeah. Your, your all white Air Force Ones? Just fresh off the box? <laughs> Can't nobody stain this garment, though. Can't nobody, you know what I mean? So, so that's the difference. Oh, you got it. And even when Pops tried to, uh, when Pops, right? The but. granddad tried to, tried to be cool about it. He still escalated it for even the confrontation being allowed to happen. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got a, I got another example. You, you, you hit home, all right? You, your woman. Yeah, you yeah. know, your woman yeah. might be a fucking demon towards you. <laughs> yep. But you got to humble yourself not to, you yeah. know, yep. not not to lose control, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, you got to humble yourself. Go leave somewhere. Go somewhere. Yep. You know, I, I ain't got that problem no more. I'm, I'm safe, bro. I'm not dealing with that. Like, you why know, should when you I had a woman, that, you know, all right. But but that's that's you gotta leave. You gotta you gotta give yourself the, the, the peace and tranquility in your mind to be like, hey, if I if I do something physical, it's gonna take me take it away from me doing the work. Yep. Your ass gonna be in jail, locked up and shit. You gotta pay all kind of fines. Yep. So I ain't got no money. Hey brother, I ain't got no money, yeah. bail out. You know? And fuck? and now you yeah. lost yeah. your job and so you gotta see where this can go. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So you're gonna I'm let gonna you're gonna let one fleshly moment yep. cause you to hinder your heavenly purpose. Yep. Why would oh, you yes, do that so. to yourself? Yep. Allow a, fle a, 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 a fleshly moment hinder you from a heavenly purpose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't 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 let your flesh get the best of you. Don't let it get the best of you. These people got Don't give these people uh, uh don't let these people hand you L's. Man. Exactly. We don't, just, don't hand yourself you, L. Exactly. We was talk, you said people got a short fuse. We was talking about, on the way walking over here, we were talking about three different incidents yeah. where shit got out of hand, where people died, got stabbed. Yeah. 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 Over this course of this weekend. Right. Yeah. Three separate locations, man. And I guarantee you it was some, some, some dumb nigga shit, man. Yeah. They couldn't problem resolve they, they situation. A, a lot of, a lot of adults yeah. in yeah. this society, man, they have horrible um, problem Solving skills, mm -hmm. man. Uh, conflict, resolution. Con conflict resolution skills. Very impulseful, uh, yeah. emotional. Emotional, yeah. impulsive. Things that don't Impuls have to blow up. Yeah. Like you walk by somebody and bump, and that don't have to be, hey, man, now I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man, respect me. You ain't got to be about that. Because you're, 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 you're using wisdom, it doesn't make you a coward. Right. You ain't, we, none of us up here are no hoes. Oh, we we will defend ourselves, yeah. right. but that's if it has to come down to that. Right. You right. try every other avenue and you can't walk away either. Mm -hmm. It's like the last resort. Hey, the scriptures to defend yourself. The scriptures say, uh, let your let your moderation be known unto all men. Yeah. That word moderation goes into your temperance and your self control. Yeah. It's harder to walk away from a situation nowadays than to engage, yeah. because it, you know it, it takes it takes nothing, man. Your emotion gets the best of you, and next thing you know, you're sitting there touching on somebody or fighting, and then somebody pull out a knife or a gun, and, uh, and then what? That's why. Right. That's why right. we're we're not to have big egos yep. and, and proud minds. Okay, a big ego, man. That that'll be your downfall. Yep. Sure. I was gonna add this to that. As well, um, so there's even brothers that were even some of us when we were younger in the face. We were like. The Lord won't, you know, the Lord ain't gonna let me be no punk, he gonna let me be scared, he gonna let me, hey, it's, it's, trust me, it's a lot stronger and more powerful to be humble. Humble, humility, it takes great strength to be humble more than it takes to, to win a fight. Kanye, land back in, uh, King David, when he got uh, caught by the, the, the army, yeah. the king, and he was in the face of the king, and he just basically, so, yeah, he played crazy, and he was like, nah, I'm king, like, what yeah. would've happened? Man? Got executed, right? No, but he used wisdom in that moment. Hey, and look at what the Lord continued to establish through David. King David also, when he could have uh, got Saul, yeah, he, he took the humble route, he took about, the humble route about it. Like, this, he could have said, This nigga been trying to kill me for months. Yeah. I'm gonna, it's my chance to get him. It's like, no, he's the most high's anointed, you know, I'm gonna yeah. fall back. When y'all brothers got Proverbs 16. But before you read that, I'm going to read this. Colossians 4 and 5. Walking wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Right? 
and to walk, it means your, you know, it goes into your conduct. And them that are without it, anybody that's an unbeliever, anybody that's outside of this, this uh, you know, they don't have the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahshah, they don't operate according to wisdom. Everybody outside of this, they susceptible to emotion and, you know, uh, evil spirits, all of these things that bring about contention. Man. That's like the scripture I bring out all the time in uh, that Second Timothy, uh, the second chapter, where it says uh, basically not to uh, not always strive, but to uh, be gentle. Mm -hmm. So get, get that real quick. Second Timothy, Second Timothy two and twenty four, and the servant of Yahweh must not strive, but be gentle to all men, apt to teach, patient. Be patient. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta learn how to to, to, to to last and endure certain things, man. What is the apostle without, without acting saying? with haste? Patience is to uh, suffer. To suffer. Yeah. Suffer. To suffer I through suffer. something for a, a yeah. duration of time. Yeah. We, oh no, we're fine. We just make sure we're not in the way. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Uh, read that part again. Second, then Second Timothy 24, 2 and 24, two and, 24. Yeah, go ahead. and the servant of Yahweh must not strive, but be gentle to all men, apt to teach, patient. Patient. Yeah. And patience is a virtue, you know, because at least when you're patient, you have time to think about things before you do it. A lot of people in this society, they just act before they think, period. Yeah. Kind of. And it always leads to disaster. You know what I mean? So we gotta, that, that's a virtue that we must definitely develop if you don't have that trait already. Okay. Okay. Patience, right? Patience. Yeah. Go ahead. And meekness, and meekness. And meekness, which is another term for saying humble. Yep. Yeah. We gotta be humble, man. Lord could be you, the Lord could be delivering you into trouble by any altercation because your spirit ain't right. You know what? This dude ain't, you know, you, because you didn't de-escalate and because you took the moment to be like, you know, just to go extra on the situation, however that may be, he may let that dude whoop your ass to humble you. Yeah. It could happen. And, and, and some guys... How many road rage man, this is? Yeah. The past <laughs> couple years. Yeah. People just... Didn't get to go home. Yeah. 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 So, you know, you said it earlier, the Lord will put you in a different situation to see how you're going to react in that situation. Those are those are tests that the Lord yeah. tests you with daily. Yeah. And those tests are, the Lord could be testing you to bump you up in wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And experience. And experience. Yeah, kind. Yeah, yeah. But if you can't pass the test, the Lord may knock you down a few levels. Like, he ain't, he not, he not ready to get the full breakdown of... Revelations 18 or you know whatever scripture it may be, you know, he he's not he still got other things he needs to focus right. on. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Uh, keep going on that. In meekness instruct instructing those that oppose themselves in Yahweh, preventure will give them repentance to acknowledging of the truth. Yeah, so even those who don't necessarily understand this. You have people that's coming from different ways of, uh, of life, so they have different outlooks, yep. different point of views. So we, us understanding that, because we were once in that in that stage as well, before we learned about this truth. Yep. We was in the world. We came up a certain way under certain traditional uh, uh, customs and right. belief right. systems and all that. So when we deal with people, we got to be patient with them. Mm -hmm. That's what, and that's one of the things that we learned. You know, come, come, you know, being spending years in this thing. Early on, you just, you just on their head, you on their neck, man. You know, you, you, you ready to cuss them out just the moment they get a question wrong. You ain't supposed to be caution. like that, man. We used to be that way, cause, it, no. but it's out of you know your pet, you, cause your passion. Yeah. It's a, you know, we are resilient. You know, but we gotta be long. We have to be patient. Now, whether that person actually be like, you know what? He's actually uh, a patient with me, and the more that I'm, you know, conversing with him, I'm starting to understand more. Maybe I need to listen a little more. Right. 
then his eyes might start to